This question says, find the stationary point of the curve y equals a third x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 and classify them. Right, so first of all, let's find them. Stationary points are exactly where the gradient is 0. So we can say that dy dx is equal to 0. So we need to find dy dx. So I bring down the power and reduce the power by 1. So I'm going to get a third times 3x squared from the first term. And the third and the three will just multiply to make 1. So I'll have x squared. Bring the 2 down and multiplying by the 2 will give me minus 4x to the 1, which is minus 4x. 3x to the 1 will just become plus 3 and the constant will differentiate to 0. So this is my gradient function and we've said that at the stationary point that's equal to 0. So we're looking for first of all the solutions to this equation. We're going to get them by factorising. This factorises into x minus 3 times x minus 1. So the two values of x are when x equals 1 and when x equals 3. Now, that's only half of the coordinates of the stationary point. We also need their y coordinates. So let's substitute x equals 1 into the original equation for y. So we've got a third times 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared plus 3 times 1 plus 1. And that simplifies to 4 take away 2 plus a third, which is 2 and a third, which we could also write as 7 over 3. When x equals 3, the other stationary point, if we substitute that in, we're going to get y is equal to a third times 3 cubed, which is 27 minus 2 times 9, which is 3 squared, plus 9, 3 times 3, plus 1. And that tidies up to 9, minus 18, plus 9, plus 1, 9, and 9 make 18, take away 18, plus 1, just becomes 1. So the coordinates are 1, 7 over 3, and 3, 1. So those are the stationary points. So we found them, but then it says classify them. And we classify them by looking at the second derivative. So we're going to say the second derivative. So that is found by looking at the first derivative and differentiating it again. So differentiating x squared, we'll get 2x. Differentiating minus 4x, we'll get minus 4. And differentiating the constant plus 3, we'll go to 0. So the second derivative is 2x minus 4. 
we need to look at the value of this at the two stationary points by substituting in the two x values. So x equals 1 implies that the second derivative is 2 minus 4 which is minus 2. So it's less than 0 and that tells me that this stationary point is therefore a local maximum. The other stationary point when x equals 3 the second derivative is going to be 2 times 3 which is 6 minus 4 which is plus 2 and that's greater than 0 so that tells me that we have a local minimum So we found the two stationary points, and the first one, when x is 1, is a local maximum. The second one, when x equals 3, is a local minimum. If we were to do a, a sketch of this cubic, we can mark on that uh, the first stationary point is at 1, 7 over 3 and the second one is at 3, 1 and looking back at the original equation for y if we set x to 0, y would be 1, so the y-intercept is 0, 1. So we can then draw the cubic like that, so it turns at those two values.